Happy Echo de Mayo! Buddha, Brenda, Jessica, Susan, Scarlett, Buddha, Papi, Da, Papa, Scra, Da, Da, Di, Da, Da, Da. convenient time to do Disney week for me because two weeks from today I will actually be in Disney World. I have my last exam on the 16th and then my mom and I fly out on the 17th. I haven't been there since I was seven so I don't really remember very much about it but I'm definitely excited to go back. I remember the Cinderella's castle is fantastic, that the giant thing in Epcot looked like a golf ball to me when I was little. We went on some kind of safari in the Animal Kingdom and that I was terrified of all the people dressed up as Disney characters. Now, Jessica already answered this, but I want to know, have the rest of you ever been to Disneyland or Disney World? And how old were you? Because I also went when I was four, and I'm sure that it was really, really fun at the time, and like, that's when you're little enough that it's all magical and fantastic, but I remember nothing about it from when I was four, so was it worth it? As far as Disney movies go, my favorite was always The Lion King. I think it was actually the first movie that I ever saw in the theater, because it came out when I was like three. But I really liked any of the ones that had animals in them. Um, 101 Dalmatians, Jungle Book, sorry Jessica, Dumbo, Bambi, all those kind of things. I didn't really like many of the princess ones, but I think I liked Cinderella, because I think I was her for Halloween one year. And recently, well... I have Up and Finding Nemo, both on my shelf right over here. I know that those are Disney Pixar, but they're still half Disney, so that still counts, right? Luckily, even though I was never really a fan of the princess ones, I still managed to learn all the songs from those. I have a little cousin right now, she's about three, who thinks she's a princess. So whenever I babysit her, she dresses up in all her princess clothes, and she dresses me up as the prince because I'm taller, and that way she can go to the ball. And then while we're at the ball, we have to sing all the songs from all the movies. Of course, this is also the same cousin who will randomly strip down to her underwear and run around pretending that she's Mowgli from the Jungle Book. So like you mentioned, Brenda, we started this channel back at the beginning of the school year. For me, my first video was the second day of classes, and now this video is the second to last day of classes, so it's kind of a strange thing to think about. I'm still going to be in this room for another week because I have exams, so next week will actually be my last one, but it's still very strange to think about doing these videos somewhere else. A couple days ago, a couple of freshman girls showed up because they're going to be living here next year and they wanted to see how big the room was, and that was very, very awkward to think about someone else living in this room because I've spent so much time here in the past however many months. But I'm living in this building again next year, so I guess it really won't be that much different. And now I am off to my last real day of classes. Technically, I still have a couple that I need to go to tomorrow, but it's slope day, which means that barely anyone is going to show up, so we won't really do anything important anyway. And then everyone just gets to go hang outside on the slope and listen to music that hasn't been culturally relevant since we were in middle school. So that will be an adventure. So everyone better have an awesome Hanko de Mayo and do something to increase awesome today. Scarlett, I will see you tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.